Hey, it's Ramsey Dewey over here in Shanghai, China. Welcome to another edition of Q&A with the Coach. Today, our friend Willie M. Golden says this. Mr. Dewey, this is a question of the utmost importance. Therefore, I shall give my utmost attention to your question, Mr. Willie M. Golden. He says, should a Jedi rely so heavily on a lightsaber, or would it be more beneficial for them to master all aspects of combat as they do the lightsaber? Hmm. Oh, that's a good question. That's a good question. This reminds me of a self-defense conundrum that many people find themselves in. They go to a self-defense class, like they take a Krav Maga class, right? Because they're worried about a bad guy with a gun or a knife or two bad guys or three bad guys who are bigger and stronger than them with weapons, jumping out of the shadows and beating them up or pulling them into a van or something like that. So they take the self-defense class, right? So they can learn how to use their, their empty hands to fight these guys off and get away. Okay, here's the problem with that. If your plan to take on multiple armed assailants who are bigger and stronger and tougher than you is to fight with your fleshy little fists, you're probably going to lose. Most of the time. So what should you do for self-defense instead? Well, even the odds. What are the bad guys doing to win? Think about that for a minute. What are the other guys doing to win? They have numbers. They have size and strength. They have weapons. Hmm. Let's take a lesson from that. So let's do what the bad guys are doing. Get a weapon, get some friends, get bigger and stronger. If you're serious about winning street fights, there you go. What does that have to do with the Jedi? Well, let's, let's look at the bad guys. The bad guys who experienced any level of success in the Star Wars series... Now, you might think of, say, what's his name? That dude with all the lightsabers. He was that part robot guy in the prequels. General Grievous, that's it. I, I saw the prequels. I saw the prequels. So there's this bad guy. He's got like four or five or... He's got a bunch of lightsabers and multiple arms. And he's fighting the Jedi. And he still loses. He loses against a Jedi with one lightsaber. So clearly the answer is not more lightsabers. But then let's take a look at the evil Emperor Palpatine. The evil Emperor. No, not in the prequels, because I think he used a lightsaber back then. But in the George Lucas... Well, George Lucas made the prequels. In the, uh, the original trilogy, he did not wield a lightsaber. He didn't. The most successful bad guy in the whole series did not ever pick up a, a lightsaber. Not in the original trilogy, anyway. What did he do instead? He zapped people with lightning out of his fingers. He tapped into the dark side of the Force. And yeah, the Jedi are all about, No, don't use the dark side of the Force, it's bad. It's bad and wrong for reasons. Maybe they had a point there, but... Where did that get them in the end? Dead. They're all dead now. Look forward to, what was it, the last, the last few Star Wars movies with Rey, and a lot of people are very divided on, on Rey. Rey didn't die at the end of the series. All the other ones did, all the, all the good guys, Luke Skywalker, man, dead. Yoda, dead. Obi-Wan Kenobi, dead. All the Jedi, dead. But Rey, not dead. And what did she do? Force lightning! Oh yeah, she used it. She went there. And we're still supposed to cheer for her. Yay, go Rey, you're the protagonist. Go girl, right? For doing exactly what the evil emperor did. But she went above and beyond that. She had a lightsaber. And she used it, but what else? She had a stick, like a regular stick, and she knew how to use it. Okay, yeah. Force lightning. Oh, man, Ray was just expanding her options right there. Man, Ray had so many options. You can call her a Mary Sue, sure, why not? But she had options, right? She had options. And she used the Force in all kinds of ways we'd never even seen before. And at the end of the trilogy, not dead. 
Hmm. So, love her or hate her, Ray had the right idea. She took the successful patterns from her enemies, used them, and used the lightsaber, and basically just brought every single successful weapon she probably she, she could into her arsenal. And as a result, not dead at the end of the trilogy. So, should the Jedi only use lightsabers and nothing else? Well, if you take the new trilogy as canon, then absolutely. Unless, of course, Rey wasn't actually a Jedi after all. Huh. Man, that's a head-scratcher, isn't it? Thanks for the question. Keep them coming. Now get out there and train.